All right, we've got some exciting Notre Dame Fighting Irish news for you guys. Look, obviously, the 2024 recruiting cycle is in the books. It was a very solid cycle for the Irish. Freeman's doing a great job as the head man. What he's done as a coach has surpassed a lot of people's expectations. Certainly me. He's done a great job. I was a little cautious, but he's been phenomenal. But like all smart coaches and all smart programs, Notre Dame very quickly is pivoting towards the future. And we've got a great report on that front. Let's pull up the news and then we'll talk about it. On the other side, this is from SI, excuse me, SI.com. Uh, Notre Dame has picked up a massive commitment with Wakasha. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I'm not from Wisconsin. Catholic Memorial Offensive Tackle Owen Strabag pledging to the Fighting Irish. He's a member of the 2025 class. It's massive in that Notre Dame landed one of the best offensive linemen in the country, and he's also massive with the Wisconsin native checking in at six foot eight and 295 pounds. Notre Dame beat out Florida State, USC, Miami of Florida, and Wisconsin. It's good competition to land a talented offensive tackle. Strayberg has been a top target for Notre Dame for some months, uh, for months, and the Irish were considered his leader for quite some time. Landing Strayberg is important for Notre Dame, but the commitment didn't come as a surprise. That's a credit to the strong recruiting job done by offensive line coach Joe Rudolph and the rest of the Irish staff. So this is an absolutely outstanding pickup for Notre Dame. I love the fact they quickly pivoted from 2024 to 2025. Myas, I'm curious what your thoughts are on this. But first, Notre Dame fans, 2024 class in the books. Now's your chance in the comment section below. Give us the recruit that Notre Dame was able to sign that you think will have the quickest impact, a day one kind of impact for the Irish, and give us that guy's name in the comment section below. But Myas, give me your thoughts on this move for Notre Dame and what it means for the Fighting Irish going forward. I think it's a great move for Notre Dame. I think it's really showing the strength of this team. They know where they're good at getting the trenches, especially the offensive line side of the ball. They've always been really good, even defensive line as well. Uh, they've been great uh, being able to develop and recruit that position. I think this just shows they really have an eye for this talent, and I think they're going deep as far as their ability to go to Midwest teams and go to places like Wisconsin and knock out the number one player in Wisconsin and a guy like Strabing is absolutely huge. And they talk about it as well. He's huge, 6'8", 295. It seems like Notre Dame has a type because also in this class, they have the number two guy out of Connecticut, Will Black as well. And he is also very big, 6'7", 295. So they have a pair of tackles here that I think is going to be absolutely fantastic going for in this 2025 class. Phenomenal. I'd be very excited if I was the quarterback coming in in 2025 to have these Titans guarding my blind sides. But Nick, it's like I said, this is a very great move. I like what Coach Freeman is doing. He's coming around, going around to the states like Connecticut, Wisconsin. You know, just in, you know, we say that you have to dominate your state first, then move out. Obviously, very good in Indianapolis. They go out to the other states and get the best players in those states, the top one, top two players in those states. Very impressive to me. I love the recruiting prowess here, and I love getting what you're good at as well by getting some top-tier offensive linemen that you can develop and really just keep that pipeline rolling. Great job by Coach Freeman here. I think this shows a lot of promise for the future of this Notre Dame team. Yeah, and just to dig into Strabic a little bit, and look, anytime I look at any recruit, especially if you're a big four or five star offensive tackle, and I put on your highlight film, I put on three or four minutes of your junior highlight film, there are two things I'm looking for. Number one, are you physically superior to a high school competition? If you're going to be a top flight prospect, I want to see you on film, and you better look bigger, stronger, taller, just a man among boys. There better not be any. I better put on your film and know exactly who the four or five star prospect is. If I have to look across the film and try and find you, that's a bad sign. But you put on Strybig's film, he jumps off of it. I mean, obviously being 6'8", 300 pounds, but he's got a great frame. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets up to about 315, loses 10 pounds of fat, puts on 20, 25 pounds of muscle. This dude is going to be a monster. He's got all the physical tools, all the strength, all the size. And to put on the film, oh my goodness, man among boys. Which leads me to my second point when you watch highlight tape of any supposedly elite offensive tackle. If I put on your highlight film, it better be two, three, four, five minutes, however long it is, of you absolutely destroying the souls of those poor high schoolers you're going up against. Good news for Stray Big is that literally is exactly what his highlight film is. He just for four minutes, play after play after play, just demolishes double team, reach blocks, getting out in space, working up to linebackers, pass protection. He's driving people 10, 15 yards off the ball and pancaking them. 
He's pancaking people right off the rip, one or two steps into their chest, putting them flat on their back. He's pancaking double teams, going up to the linebackers, and then pancaking them. Look, that's what you expect from an offensive tackle prospect of this quality. But to be honest, there's a lot of guys when you put on the film and they've got maybe a minute of great highlights and then there's a dip. And those are the guys that are concerning. Those are the guys like consistency is going to be a problem. How are you going to handle top flight competition? I'm not worried about that with Stray Big because he is so physically dominant at the high school level that I think he'll have an easier time than most translating to college level. doesn't mean it'll be easy. It's going to be a challenge. But I think based on his sheer physical size and dimensions and the fact that he's so dominant in high school, I think he'll slide in perfectly to this Notre Dame offensive line. Maybe give it a year, maybe a redshirt year to develop, put on the necessary muscle where needed, learn the, learn the ins and outs of the offense. But I think before long, Stray Big will be a key part of this Notre Dame offensive line. Yeah, Nick, and one more point about this 2025 class as a whole. Obviously, we all know Notre Dame, great in the recruiting department, but they really started to hit 2025 hard early, number one class in 2025 right now. And on top of that, they have 13 commits in this class so far. Very impressive. And a lot of people will be like, okay, they're just going for volume. The quality of player probably isn't there. But you look at the average grade of players going off the 24-7 scale, even with 13, their average is still a 90.87 as far as the quality of players that they got, which is very, very good. Of the other teams, you look at LSU, they have a lot less guys. They got about seven and they're 94 grade. So I think just the averaging to be able to get almost a 91 and having 13 guys, very impressive. Also, the point rankings for the classes, Notre Dame, 215 points, a whole 16 points over LSU's grade of 199 so far. So I think Notre Dame really hitting this 2025 class hard. Early recruiting by Coach Freeman and Co. is showing they are very dedicated to bringing in the best talent to this school that they can possibly find.